Hey guys, my name is Sam and welcome to PrepMedic. In this week's video, we're going to be discussing some of the best medical classes that you can take as a civilian. Whether you're looking for general medical knowledge, tac med, or wilderness medicine, this list has something for you. One of the most common questions I get on my channel is people asking me what courses they can take to be better prepared in medical emergencies. Now, not everybody wants to be a professional responder. Not everybody wants to take an EMT course, paramedic course, uh, anything like that. So this list here is more for the person that wants the beginner to advanced medical knowledge for everyday situations, tactical situations, and wilderness situations. Now, I do have to give credit where credit is due. This video is basically going through a blog post by Jackie Billings, uh, who is the editor of Pew Pew Tactical. Uh, she went through and did a ton of research of classes throughout the nation, uh, kind of ranked them, talked to a lot of people, and separated a lot of the really good classes from the classes you should probably avoid. So Essentially, I'm going to be going through this blog post. I will link that down below for you to check it out. If you don't want to hear me talk for the rest of this video, you can totally go there and it's basically the same information uh, minus my own personal takes on some of the classes that are listed. Otherwise, if you're marginally illiterate like I am and you'd rather hear somebody talk about it, stay tuned for the rest of the video. So the first set of classes that are listed here are kind of our beginner classes. So somebody that has no training, really wants to get their foot in the door or somebody that just wants something that's really cost effective that's going to cover a wide range of life-threatening situations that you might experience in your everyday life. If you want to skip ahead to the intermediate course offerings and some of the advanced course offerings, I will leave a time code up here that you can follow to get past some of the general information. But topping this list in the beginners category is going to be your American Heart Association Heart Saver First Aid CPR and AED course. Uh, this is a highly versatile course. You know, it's covering basically what happens if somebody goes into cardiac arrest, teaches you how to use an automated external defibrillator, and then we'll teach you some basic first aid. Uh, nothing super in-depth, nothing super advanced, um, but it is a pretty good course, and I am an instructor for this. I've been teaching it for a while. Um, it really covers a lot of your basic fundamentals. Now, I will say it does not go super in-depth in trauma management, and it's a lot more minor occurrences, and a lot of the stuff ends up falling back on calling 911. However, CPR cannot be understated. Uh, I've been a paramedic for nine years now, or almost nine years now, and I will tell you that I've never had somebody survive cardiac arrest that did not have bystander CPR performed on them first. So this class is super, super important. Along the same lines, uh, just from a different provider, uh, number two is Red Cross First Aid and CPR. So it's just a different organization, different company. Now, this these guys, what makes them kind of unique is they tailor that first aid course uh, to you, and you can take dog and cat CPR. You can even take, I believe, some wilderness options from them, even though they're not super in-depth. Now, I don't have a ton of experience with Red Cross classes. Um, I've taken a first aid course way back in the day by them. And it's a little bit less scripted than the AHA in my experience, which is great if you have a really good instructor, but it does leave you open to having somebody that's subpar or not giving you the most up-to-date information. So number three, and unsurprisingly uh, on this list, is going to be Stop the Bleed. So Stop the Bleed is a class that was first conceived by the American College of Surgeons in conjunction with the Department of Defense. I teach this. It's really just how to stop life-threatening bleeding. It goes through uh, your tourniquet applications. It goes through wound packing junctional sites, and then your general assessment of bleeding wounds. Really worthwhile class, and this is a pretty cost-effective as well. I have a video that goes through the entire class. Um, it's completely free. It's on YouTube. I'll link it up there. Now, granted, the advantage of doing it in person is you get hands-on training, hands-on experience, but totally get it. Not everybody... Uh, has the money to attend these classes, and there are some free options out there. If you can do it in person, um, most fire departments, most EMS agencies will have some kind of outreach that does this. So get in touch with them, and they'll be able to set a class up for you, most likely. So before we move on to the intermediate options, I should mention that I have no 
uh, monetary incentive to sell you on any, any of these classes. None of these organizations pay me a dime uh, to promote this. And like I said, I am following this uh, blog post by Pew Pew Tactical. So um, I'm not trying to sell you anything here. I I believe these are good courses, and the research that Jackie did uh, kind of confirms that these are good courses to take. So number one in the intermediate section is going to be your civilian medical course. Now, this is a course put on by Skinny Medic and Sean from We Like Shooting. Uh, it's a pretty in-depth first aid course where it focuses mainly on trauma management and stop the bleed principles, but it adds a lot of scenarios to that. It will add a little bit more into the realm of assessments, and it's not just bleeding control. It's also going to be general trauma management. So really good course there. It's $200 for a one-day class, which is pretty par for the course price-wise, uh, and it is offered out west here in Colorado and then on the East Coast in North Carolina, but well worth the money, uh, and they do a great job at teaching it in my experience. So number two in the intermediate list, this is one that I didn't know existed, but I think it is really cool, and I would actually really like to go take it. It's the North American Rescue Enhanced Bleeding Control Course. So it takes the BCON course, the Stop the Bleed course, and it basically amps it up. So when you take a basic bleeding control class, they don't go through a lot of scenarios. They have you practice putting on tourniquets. They'll have you pack some wounds. Uh, some instructors will put you through a small scenario, but this basically takes those principles, ties it in with some assessment techniques, and then will put you through scenarios, uh, stress inoculate you a little bit more. They have two great training centers. I think one's in Las Vegas and then one's out on the East Coast in North Carolina where their headquarters are. Uh, but a lot of really knowledgeable people teaching for them would highly recommend it. And they're a very reputable gear distributor as well. So, you know, you go take a class, I guarantee you they will give you the chance to buy one of their IFACs, potentially discount it a little bit. Now, for the person that isn't as tactically oriented, that more likes the outdoors, um, somebody that's going to be away from standard medical care and ambulances, all of that good infrastructure, the Knowles Wilderness First Aid course is amazing. So it's a three-day course. Um, it The price ranges between $200 to $500, so it's a little bit pricier. Uh, but basically, this will teach you how to care for patients in a wilderness environment. Uh, they will teach you how to improvise certain things. They'll teach you how to do assessments and basic wound management, uh, treating medical issues. I have not taken the Wilderness First Aid course, but I did take Knowles uh, upgrade for the medical provider, or Wilderness upgrade for the medical provider. It was well worth it. The instructors were incredibly knowledgeable, um, professional paramedics, nurses, people that worked on ski patrol and in really austere environments. So they had a lot of knowledge to impart. It was very organized. It's a very well-known organization, um, and they have classes all over the U.S. You just kind of have to look for them on their website. And if I haven't mentioned already, I will be leaving the links to all of these courses down below so you can follow them, uh, see if something's in your area to take. So highly recommend the Wilderness First Aid course. And once again, that's for somebody that's not quite as tactically oriented, but they give you a lot of good principles and teach you how to improvise uh, in a evidence-based manner. Uh, getting into the more advanced classes and more, I'd say, niche area of training, we have the Sig Sauer Bullets and Bandages 1 and 2. Uh, so with both of those classes combined, um, it's pricey. It is $1,200 for a five-day course. I believe Bullets and Bandages 1 is three days, where Bullets and Bandages 2 is two days. Um, and basically, this is a civilian tactical medical course. Um, it combines shooting and CCW and some of those more tactical movements with first aid, bleeding control, and trauma management. So if that's something you're looking into and you don't want to go to one of these, you know, high-powered law enforcement courses or something that really is medically oriented with the firearms component, I think this would be excellent. But once again, it is relatively expensive. I totally understand not everybody can drop that uh, kind of cash on a class. Uh, Sig Sauer does have a reputation of having really, really good instructors and having a really good training uh, cadre there. So I would highly recommend. I had never heard of it before this blog post came out. I started looking into it, watched some videos. Um, it's impressive. Uh, it looks like a really cool course. Now, of course, if you don't want to take the tactical component of that and you'd rather just get some of the trauma management principles, 
you can take their trauma management course, which is $250. Um, I think it's two to three days. I should look that up. And that basically takes all of the trauma principles they teach in their one and two course, but they take out the firearm component of that. So if you don't want to do live fire, uh, you can't afford to buy nine mil right now because it's a million dollars. Uh, totally understand this is a good option for you. It tones it down a little bit, but it is, I believe it'll be a little bit less hands-on. So last but not least, and probably the one that I know the least about is active response training, tactical first aid, and systems collapse medicine. Horrible name. It's not searchable at all. Um, it does tell you exactly what it is, and that's pretty cool. But this is a one to two day course. It costs $200. And this is for my hardcore preppers, people that want to have the knowledge to uh, survive an austere env environment where the medical infrastructure in the United States, wherever you are, has completely collapsed. So they go through, you know, what medicine should you hoard? Um, you know, how do you improvise things? But it also teaches how to, you know, stop the bleed. It teaches your general TECC principles. So stop the bleed, care under fire, things like that. So it really combines that prepper, tactical stuff, um, but it really seems to be evidence-based um, and doesn't get into that tactical realm all that much. So I think it would be cool. I don't know anything about it. The instructor is well-known in this community, however. In general, guys, you can't go wrong with taking classes. Now, there are a lot of really good classes, but there are also a lot of really bad classes, and I'm not going to mention them all here because, one, there's too many to count. Uh, number two, that's just not what this channel is about. So make sure you're vetting your instructors. Make sure they have a strong background. They're experts in what they're teaching and that what they're teaching is evidence-based. You know, we just saw kind of an internet debacle where a well-intentioned gentleman that's pretty big in the media scene um, and was uh, a Navy SEAL at one point talked about packing wounds with tampons. Now, he meant well. Um, he has a lot of good knowledge to offer, but in this case, it demonstrates how he really didn't understand um, that side of medicine very well. If you have any questions about anything I mentioned here today, please leave them in the comments down below, and I will see you next week. Yeah.